What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to another episode of my Rise to Fame Ultimate Team Series. Got a bit of an interesting thing going on in the, in the series here. As you saw at the start guys, I joined the Advanced Cup which is for 1900 coins. Um, and after the first three games, I just want to show you something that I talked about the last couple of episodes uh, of Rise to Fame that happens to me re on a regular basis and it's very, very frustrating. Um, it's currently like 10.30 on Wednesday night. We just had uh, the second Champions League game for the week. We had Chelsea against Barcelona. It was a pretty interesting game. Chelsea came out 1-0 winners. Probably, mm, is it undeserved or is it not undeserved? It's, it's, it's a hard one to tell. Like, you, you could... You could probably say, you could probably say they did deserve the win because of how well they played, how well they defended and stuff. But you know, Barcelona dominated the first half, like absolutely battered them for the first half, and uh, probably deserved a goal or two themselves. So it was just one of those games where you know Chelsea nicked the win, defended well, whatever. Um, they've obviously got to go back to the new camp yet, and that's going to be very, very tough time for them. Uh, this is going to be the first of two videos for you guys today. The second video is going to be uploaded at around 3 to 3.30 p.m. It's going to be my uh, race to a team hat-trick series with Cal Freezy. Uh, really enjoying playing that. So far, I've, I've got to a point now where it's hard. <laughs> um, obviously, the mids and attacks are going to be quite easy to get hat-tricks with. But yeah, like I say, I'm at a point now where it's pretty hard to score. That was a great goal there from Wellington just before as well, by the way, guys. All just coming... Uh, I actually paused the video accidentally for about three seconds, so um, if my talking of the video is a little bit in front or behind, I apologise. Um, so I asked on Twitter for the first time ever for some topics to talk about because I want to talk about, so usually I have got topics to talk about and I've actually got a load of stuff that I do want to talk about over the next coming days, weeks and months. Um, but I thought for a change, let me actually talk about something that you guys want me to talk about. And I had some really uh, pretty great responses. Most of them were about Chelsea, uh, but that's not right. Uh, just one thing I also want to correct. Uh, I mentioned a guy, a small YouTuber that I like watching uh, a few weeks ago, and I called him Kevin Prince HD. That's not his channel name. His channel name is Matt Prince or Matt K Prince. It's it's just not Kevin Prince. It's Matt something. Let me go onto my Twitter quickly and have a look. Um... Matt K Prince, yes, there we go. So it's Matt K Prince, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Matt K Prince. Uh, check him out, he's awesome. Um, just uh, did a, a dual com with Ezekiel Gaming today as well, and unfortunately, I, f I didn't record my voice because I didn't set the record on Call Recorder to record my snowball. I had it recording the internal mic, so it wasn't working. Um, so I'm going to be doing a, a dual com with Ezekiel Gaming very shortly again in the next couple of days and we'll try and get some good stuff done. He's got a great channel, check him out. Uh, I'll leave his link in the description as well. Uh, so some of the things that people wanted me to talk about, one of the first things that I thought that quite that could be quite an interesting thing to talk about was the expansion of the FIFA community in the last year. Um, it's, it's something that's awesome to see, you know, like the, the bigger the FIFA community grows, the bigger my channel grows, the bigger smaller channels grow the more noticed it gets by the way that was almost an awesome goal um, um, you know it's just the bigger everything gets and YouTube in general is just becoming absolutely massive you know to the point where I genuinely watch more YouTube videos than I watch regular TV um, so that on that side of things it's it's great that the, the community is growing so much What's not so great about the community growing so much is just the amount of people that seem more interested in... Oh, just here we go again, guys. Um, wait, how many games is that? One, two... Yeah, this is the third game. So, uh, this isn't the third game, right? So, basically, after that game, I tried to go and play the final of the tournament. Uh, and as you'll see any second now, says this, we're sorry, there's been an error. Kicks me out of Ultimate Team. Uh, puts me back to the main menu. And when I go back into Ultimate Team, if you scroll back through the video a little bit, I think my record was 153.8 and I can't remember what my record was. But you can tell by the end of the next game, which I win, that I've got no more draws and no more losses and I've got another win on my account and yet I'm only in the first round of the cup. So, you know, I basically didn't get a chance to play the final because of that little error that we had there, which is really, really frustrating because that ha that's happened to me like four times now in this Rise to Fame series. Uh, which you'll see the next three times that come in the next few videos. And it's so annoying that 
I'm getting to the final, I've you know, potentially lost out on like 15, 20,000 coins because EA servers aren't very good, uh, which I don't think is very good. Uh, but yeah, the FIFA community, guys, it's it, it's really, really great in many ways, but it's really bad in many ways because obviously the, the more people there are, the more trolls there are, the more directors there are, and uh, the more you get spammed with videos. Now, I don't mind watching people's videos. I say this very often, like, if, if people are actually ready to talk to me and you know give interest in me and you know I don't know just generally be quite cool people and talk to me uh, I'll happily watch their videos when I've got time um, but if people just come onto my Skype or onto YouTube or Twitter and they're just simply like hey net watch my video cheers and give me a link that that's not cool um, but the amount of people in the community now obviously that that number of people rises dramatically where we've just got loads of people that do that all the time uh, and I'll tell you something just for a, a little tip guys on how best to to go about yourselves I've talked about this many times before so I'll keep it brief just don't spam people guys just you know take your time you if you got if you have good content um, you will get noticed eventually you gotta take sleeps for example I'll leave his link in the description as well I'm gonna have to write this down because I'm gonna forget everybody um, sleeps about 10 days ago had you know around three and a half four thousand subscribers Somebody told me about him. He's got the best Road to Glory series. I thought, okay, let me go and check this guy out. Went and checked Sleeps out. Turns out his Road to Glory series was absolutely incredible. Um, so I went and watched... Uh, I've watched so far about the first 25 episodes of his Road to Glory series. I'm going to get through it all eventually. But he's got, you know, about 145, 150 episodes already. Um, which is a lot. So, uh, yeah. You know, I watched him. I liked a few of his videos, he gets a few more subscribers. I was in a call with uh, AA9Skills, Calfreezy, JJ, well KSI, um, and I was talk was talking about them guys, like, well, in including people like Josh Flip, uh, GTZ, basically the VSG group. And we was having a conversation about who gave you your first shout out, because everybody needs a shout out to get bigger. Um, but people need to earn shout outs rather than ask for shout outs. So, you know, if, if you get a shout out and you didn't ask for it, you can be damn sure that your channel is very good and you've got a very good future in YouTube. If you beg and bother and ask people for YouTube shout outs, you know, like 10 times a day, if you constantly send like 50 messages a day to 20 different people and you get a shout out eventually, those subscribers will never ever stay with you. You've got to make sure that you get content and people, you've got to make sure you get people watch your content that actually enjoy your content. Uh, rather than uh, watching your content because you begged somebody to shout your channel out. Uh, so I shout, you know, I didn't shout out Sleeps. I think I may have shouted out Sleeps, but whatever. I liked a few of his videos. I talked about him in a few of my videos. And um, eventually, you know, I showed him to AA9Skills, KSI, Calfreezy, Josh Flip, uh, a few of these other guys. And uh, KSI liked one of his videos. And now he's, you know, he's approaching like eight, 9,000 subscribers now. And that's amazing. In the space of a, you know, a week or 10 days, he's picked up so many subscribers that was a great goal from Hernandez right there too he's picked up so many subscribers and uh, that's just because the community's grown you know this time last year a, a good channel a big channel had 25 30k max subscribers now that's quite an average channel like 20 to 30k there's a lot more out there now that have got that sort of subscriber count you know you probably got around say around 12 or 15 people with 30 plus subscribers which is awesome you know because the bigger everyone gets the more people it is it is exposed to which means the bigger opportunity other people have got to get bigger um, so that is an absolutely awesome thing that the FIFA community has grown I, I think definitely the the pros far far outweigh the cons of the FIFA community being massive and I hope the next year is even bigger I hope next year I'm sitting here talking to you guys saying that a hundred thousand subscribers is an average FIFA channel and that if you've got 30,000 subs, you're potentially a small channel. That would be amazing to say. This has come to the end of the video now, guys, though. Um, I've got another topic to talk, talk about that you Twitter Twitter guys sent me. If you want to follow me on Twitter as well, the link will be in the description. That's about 19 links I've got to put in there now. Um, but thank you all very much for watching, guys. If you could hit that like button, it would be absolutely amazing. Managed to win that game 7-3 in the end after a shaky start. But thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button. Hit that favorite button. That would be brilliant. And uh, I'll see you in a few hours for a second video. Cheers.